Hey folks, Mark here, uh, and tonight we're going to go on a bit of an adventure. Um, the weather is not so good, which is awesome for what we need. The um, frogs apparently up in the jungle are going absolutely bananas. Uh, perfect conditions, and my target today, I'm going to try and look for something called the Anderson's Crocodile Newt. Um, now it's an endangered species, so I really, I'd love to be able to find it. Um, it is also classified as a natural monument in Japan because it is so um, endangered. So uh, there's a couple of places I've seen them in the past. So the trip is, or the, the, the goal for tonight is to head up, probably about a 40 minute drive from here, uh, from my apartment and we'll be in the area where hopefully we can land on one. But uh, I know for a fact that the snakes are going absolutely bananas right now. So um, hopefully we'll have lots of snakes, lots of frogs, and lots of other weird and wonderful goodies. So uh, let's strap in. I'm going to take a drive and I will catch you when we get into the jungle. Well, we finally made it. We are at um, an undisclosed location somewhere in Okinawa Island. And um, this isn't one of the places where I've seen the Anderson's Crocodile Newt, but it is a place where I've seen in the past uh, lots of activity with regards to frogs and um, himehabu, or being hunted by the uh, pit viper. So um, we're going to jump out, have a quick look, try and get the video off to a, try and get the evening, sorry, off to a good start. Let's go and see what we can see. I can hear uh, plenty of frogs already, um, but there's a ditch just that goes along this wall here, and we'll just see if there's anything down here. But there we go, our first habu. Habu already, that's pretty wild. Uh, but as you can hear, probably the frogs are going mental, so hopefully, there'll be some more activity a little bit further up. Thank you. 
how wild was that? That's pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, that was a great way to get the evening started. Um, it's probably about a 10 to 15 minute drive now to get back to where I need to get to. Um, so I'm going to crack into that. Uh, a beautiful way to, to start the um, start the evening, but uh, not the target species, um, but definitely uh, awesome to see anyway. Uh, let's see what we can see and uh, let's hit the road jack. A Pryor's keelback. Slightly venomous, enough to um, enough to give the frogs that they hunt a bit of a shock. Uh, and the frogs that they hunt are a bit small. You can see this make, this snake is quite small. Uh, these guys generally tend to prefer the more diminutive Kajika frog, as you can see here. These little yellow guys. Unfortunately, they seem to be the top of the menu for so many different predators. Here, a land crab gets out of the way of the video lights. And, and th this, these are the ditch side, the roadside ditches I was looking in. And uh, after a while, couldn't believe my luck. I landed on this guy, clinging to the side of the uh, of the ditch. The guy that I'd been looking for, the Anderson's crocodile newt. Now, pretty nondescript, um, brownish grey in colour. Uh, and once they get walking, they uh, they keep on walking, <laughs> um, but as you can see, a cute little critter. They've got a, a weird kind of body shape, and it looks like their ribs are actually coming out through the sides of their body. That's the thing that um, gives them away, that and the very um, flat head that you can see. Awesome, awesome little critters, uh, but I didn't want to disturb them too much. And here, two of them having a bit of a discussion, wondering what the heck this silly human's doing filming them. But. Uh, as soon as they had enough, they let me know, they just got out of the way and uh, bugged out. Well, there you go. What an awesome night that was. Um, just those crocodile newts are just absolutely incredible. Um, right at the very end there, and, and I had to switch over to my GoPro, uh, from my GoPro, I'm sorry, uh, because the damn thing, the battery just died. Um, great cameras pain in the butt half the time uh, so I probably won't be using them too often from here on in um, but yeah that's it all good uh, right at the very end actually there was another little habu uh, very close to the uh, the area where I was finished filming but I guess we'd already seen a billion and one habu uh, that night so one more uh, wouldn't have made a huge difference um, now very quickly before I go what I would like to do is first time which is awesome um, starting to get a bit more traction and a bit more kind of like interaction on my social media I'd like to give a quick shout out to on Instagram uh, satvinder69 and on Twitter to a guy called Dave Goodhand uh, both of these guys they tried out one of my recent uh, ideas for home photography check it out up there uh, with great results so I said uh, whoever interacts with me on social media I will give them a, a, a shout out so there you go guys hope it's all good um, so other than that please guys and girls if you're super into the wildlife of Okinawa as much as I am uh, and you want to see a lot more of it uh, please do feel free to subscribe hit the little notifications bell down there uh, and you'll be updated as and when there's new content from yours truly um, all wonderful. Can't wait to get back up into the jungles again to bring you some more content. And here are, just to close out the video, a few of the photographs that I took of the Anderson's Crocodile Newt before I packed up and came home the other night. Take care. See you soon.